What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the Mobile Lounge. <clears throat> this is my uh, first pipe in a while. <clears throat> Probably, hell, damn near a month. Yeah, I guess three, three four weeks now. <clears throat> so I figured I'd share it with you. Today I'm smoking my uh, Radiche Billiard. It's a two-tone, the rind uh, finish on it. It's a sitter, but it's a billiard. It's a sitting billiard, I guess. And in it, mm -hmm. You know it's a Gawith and Hogarth blend, right? Dark Flake Unscented. <coughs> Sorry about that. Speaking of Gawith blends, I see they've uh, hit the market couple places along with some uh sammy g samuel galworth they both hit the market in different places it might be uh, against community standards if i tell you where but i'm sure you can figure it out <coughs> i picked up some uh 1792 flake it's out of stock it had an eight 810 limit, so I grabbed eight and some uh, Galworth and Hogarth uh, Bob's Chocolate. It had a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 limit. I only grabbed five. I've got, I got some, which I got a nice, nice jar full of 1792, but I figured what the hell. I'll be smoking a pipe more and more. So, why not get something you like? My thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um... Sean... From Grade A Snuff. Snuff and Puff. I always get you. It's I can't remember your whole channel name, but uh, he was asking about the the mobile lounge. For those of you that don't know, <clears throat> when I first started my uh, YouTube channel, I did all my videos exclusively right here in the mobile lounge. <clears throat> I don't know, one day I just decided I wanted to be a presenter and I was sitting out here and I did my first video from here. And uh, after that, I just kept doing them from here. Then when I started my channel last January, so I've only been doing it for what, 11 months now, 10 and a half, 11 months, whatever it is. You do the math. But then once the it, spring rolled around and the weather got nicer, I started doing it out on my patio, which I've got a sign on my fence out back that says Roop's Coop. So if you've joined any of the videos and I said that I was coming to you from the coop, that's what that means. That I, I call my patio Roop's Coop because my last name is Roop. And Coop rhymes with it. Nah, go figure. But, uh, I like the mobile lounge because in the wintertime, I can turn it on. I got a patio heater, but those things don't work real good. You got to be standing right underneath of it. I even got a deflector to push the heat down from, from the one side. The patio heater stands like seven foot tall. It's a big dome with the heat source propane propane and propane accessories damn it bobby but anyway 
I do my videos from out here because in the winter I got remote start. As some of y'all know, when I bought this Jeep, I wasn't looking for the most expensive vehicle. I was just looking for a vehicle and I found this and it's got everything. Leather seats, heated steering wheel, heated seats, defrosted mirrors, I mean everything. Wasn't looking for nothing like this, but happened to fall into a good deal. So I figured I'd just do my videos from out here. I got a nice leather recliner, got heat, music. What else could you want? I know some of you guys, you don't smoke in your car. Well, I don't smoke in my wife's car. I respect her enough that I don't smoke, even though they're both our cars. She's got a Ford Edge. I've got a Jeep Cherokee. And, uh, yeah, that's it. It's just a, uh, a very nice place to sit in the cold. And even in the, when it's not real cold, I can sit out here and I got the sun blocked off with the, with the roof, the, 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 uh, moon roof, sun roof, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, that's the story behind the uh, mobile lounge. Nothing spectacular. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos staying in touch more we we were going through some stuff nothing bad nothing bad i was uh keeping a low profile because i was i was applying for a uh permit to carry and i didn't want anything to promote anything bad during the time of my waiting period. And uh, I got my my permit. Still, I don't wanna promote anything stupid that would uh, cause a revoc re revocation of it. And I don't know if you guys watched or heard about the latest uh, mass shooting down in Chesapeake, Virginia at a Walmart. Chesapeake, Virginia is, is my hometown. I lived there the first 30 years of my life and then I've been up here for the, for the second 30 couple years of my life. But uh, prayers to all the, the people that were involved in the mass shooting in, in my hometown. Every time we go back down to visit, we go to that Walmart. I bet I've been in that Walmart 50 times. I don't know, all the, all the stuff hasn't been released yet, but they say that it was a, either M, it was a manager or an ex manager. The, the video, the, interview my wife saw said that it was an ex-employee former employee so whatever it is man be be safe out there world's crazy and uh that's just one more reason that i'm glad that i do have my carry permit not saying that i would have been able to stop anything you don't know what's going to happen when it happens but you just got to be prepared or at least in your mindset you're prepared lord knows what you'll do if the, if the situation arises of what you have to do to defend yourself hopefully that me and you will be in the, the right mindset to do what we have to do to stop the threat that's that's putting the threat towards us us or our family so with that being said you know god bless all of you 
Hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, nice and safe. If you're traveling, Godspeed. Um, that's about all I got. Just wanted to check in. Like I say, happy Thanksgiving. I'll be seeing a bunch of y'all's plates tomorrow on Facebook and whatever. Everybody be showing off what they're eating. And we already know what you're eating. Turkey dressing, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, cranberry sauce, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, show them pictures. That's all I got. And uh, till next time, you know what to do. Stuff them and puff them.